guys welcome back to another exciting video today's video is the first time i'm seeing donald trump actually addressing work people i've never seen him address the work people so today's video is supposed to it's interesting and it's it's, it's going to open our eyes to how Trump feels. That for me, this is my first time of actually seeing him openly, you know, address woke people. So today's video is from Woke Bites. It's titled Trump Destroying Woke People for 8 Minutes Straight. This 8 minutes is going to be worth it, I promise you. So before we dive into the video, my name is Oge. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, do like to like, share, subscribe, turn on post notification bell. Let's quickly check it out together. I want to get paid the same as a man, and I think you understand that. So, if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. <laughs> That's exactly what happens when woke people good try question. to debate with USA's best debater. Donald Trump is a prime example of someone who isn't afraid to put people in their place. And that's why in today's video, we will be taking a look at times when Donald Trump destroyed Wokies. So let's jump right into it. Illegal immigrants are causing tremendous crime. Tremendous. Immigrants commit less crime than US born citizens. Of illegal immigrants. I'm talking about illegal immigrants. I'm not illegal. talking about immigrants. I'm talking about illegal immigrants. I'm an immigrant. You're an immigrant. We're all immigrants. The Pew Research says that there are four that you um you had you <laughs> immigrants on the whole create or come on try getting it out try getting oh my it out. I'll get it out i mean i don't know if you're going to put this on television but you don't even know what you're talking about try getting it out go ahead you're a very nice oh my gosh. person. It's honestly fascinating how she's not even prepared or equipped with facts before interviewing Trump. At that point, it's like the entire purpose of her job is lost. If you want to debate Trump, you have to come correct. This interviewer, I'm so embarrassed on her behalf. If you want to debate Trump, you want to interview Trump, you have to come correct. Like, you have to come, oh my gosh, you have to be bold. You have to be able to answer his questions back to back. You can't just come. I'm, 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 I'm. No, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed on her behalf. You're going to debate somebody who is an a hey god, and you are. Uh, 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 uh. You have to come correct. I'm so embarrassed on her behalf. Ah, lost. Why you held on to those documents when you knew the federal government was seeking them and then had given you a subpoena to return them? Are you them. ready? Are you ready? Can I talk? Yeah, okay. What's you mind? The answer? Okay. Can I, do you mind? I would like for you to answer the okay. question. Okay, it's very simple to That's answer. That's why I asked it. Oh! It's very simple to you're a nasty person, I'll tell you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's his uh, response. I really thought she did something there. Some of these reporters are seriously just embarrassing. <clears throat> the more they talk, the more they self-destruct. But I don't think that you're a friend to woman. <laughs> How what it that you um you had I knew I shouldn't have picked her. I knew I shouldn't have picked her. All right, so let me give you that answer right now. I respect women incredibly. I have had women working, working for me for in me. positions that they've never worked. I had a woman who was in charge of the building of Trump Tower and did a fantastic job. I have given women more opportunity than I would say virtually anybody in the construction industry. What is this donut? You know, I know that a lot of people run with this ideology of Trump hates women. Anything women, Trump hates it. Number one. Whoopi Goldberg, she believes strongly and people that follow her believe strongly that Trump hates women. And this is him defending that statement or that statement people are used to saying that, oh, he doesn't like women. I mean, if he has a woman as powerful as Tulsi Kabat following him, <clears throat> then that's, you know, counters what you guys say all the time. I mean, if you're going to say, oh, he hates, you have to give examples. He, is, is, is it that he hates women or he hates stupid ideologies that come from some women? What is this donut even on about? She literally says, I don't think, instead of just looking at the facts. School prayer is banned, but drag shows are allowed to permeate the whole place. It's okay. You can't teach the Bible, but you can teach children that America is evil and that men are able to get pregnant. <laughs> Whatever it takes, conservatives must liberate America's children from the captivity of these Marxist teachers unions. That's what they are. Where do they come from? 
How does anyone manage to hate this man? Americans for real need to lock in and get back to their traditional values. Wokeism have taken over for the worse, I can't lie. In this next clip, a news reporter shows no manners, and Trump puts him in his place in front of everyone. If you don't mind, Mr. President, Trump. that this caravan was an invasion. As you know, I, Mr. President, I consider it to be an invasion. As you know, Mr. President, the caravan was not an invasion. It's a, it's a, a group of migrants moving up from Central America towards the border with the U.S. Thank you for telling and me. That I I, why election no, to try I to want keep them? I want them to come into the country, but they have to come in legally. I want it to be a process, and I want people to come in, and we need the people. Your you know, campaign, wait, your campaign. Wait, wait, you know why we need the people, don't you? Because we have hundreds of companies moving in. We need the people. Your campaign had an ad showing migrants climbing over walls and well, so that's on. True. It, poor, it but they it, weren't actors. They're not going to be doing they that. They weren't actors. That, Holy cow! That was embarrassing for that guy. CNN should be hella ashamed of working with such unprofessional reporters. But just watch as it gets even better. Mr. President, you repeatedly, over the course okay, of okay, just sit down, please. <sighs> well, when you when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy wow. of the people. Keep in mind, this news wow. reporter is an adult, yet he still can't manage to speak only when it's his turn. Breaking in while others are talking clearly shows that he knows Trump is winning the debate. You know what woke means? It means you're a loser. Everything woke. Everything woke. It's true. Oh my gosh. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? It's true. Look at what's happening. I mean, it's true. We have all seen what happens when woke people live by their own rules. Some people turn into cats, others turn fat, and that's not even the worst problems that comes with woke culture. And by the way, we should not allow men to play in women's sports. Yes. That's just straight up facts. Woke people want equality and freedom, but they literally want men to be able to play against women. How does that even make sense? It's crazy. I tell the story of the great swimmer, great female swimmer, wonderful woman, beautiful woman. She's been swimming for many years. She wants to break the world record. And she's at the pool and she wants to break it by an eighth of a second. That's like fast. And she's going to do it. She's getting ready. And she looks down. She sees all people she's been competing with for years because they rise to the top. And she looks over here and she sees people. But then she looks and she, you know, they call this. They say this. She's somebody with a man's body. Come on, man. Man's body. That's what they, they Thomas. I said, you think it's okay to say that? That's actually the expression they're using. They'll change that soon, so I have to do it quickly, I have to say. Because they're going to change it. And you know the guy. He was named Female Athlete of the Female Year. Female you know? Athlete it's of true. the Year. He broke the record that day. You know what the number was? 38 seconds. So she wanted to break it by an eighth of a second, and he broke it by... 38 seconds. That is absolutely ridiculous. If some people genuinely believe men and women should compete against each other in sports, I don't even know what to say. Trying to talk sense into them is like teaching a baby math. Impossible. I want to get paid the same as a man, and I think you understand that. So, if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? I love to hear the response. You're gonna make the same if you do as good a job. Let's be honest, people like this are usually quite ignorant and lack self-awareness. Instead of complaining about her salary, maybe she should focus on improving her skills. At the end of the day, you're paid based on your value. It's not some kind of rigged game where men spawn with better opportunities. Let's take this conversation from the back to the front, okay? We'll just pick on the ones that interest me and you guys can now talk about what's interesting in this video. Now, first of all, how do people not like this man? Of course, he has his own he has his own things or things that people don't really like about him, but I love his ideologies. I love what he stands for, to be honest. I know that a lot of Africans and black people will come up to say, "Oh, he hates immigrants." This is the first conversation. Sorry, I said I was, was going to start from that, but this one just brought, came to my mind. He said he hates immigrants, but the thing is, he doesn't want illegal immigrants. Even in Nigeria, illegal immigrants, I mean, these are people that should not be in people's country. If you're going to come in, everybody, we are all um, immigrants. But if you're going to come, why don't you come legally? He never said he hated black people. He never said he hated Africans. He never said he hated people of color. He said he doesn't want illegal immigrants. And I feel like that's the right thing. If you're a president, you want to protect and shield your country from things like this. 
that said then let's say from the back the lady that says she wants equality this is a feminist okay she wants equality with men in this um in the public sector at where she works and all of that i think people that are having most of these ideologies or i think this were asking this kind of ignorant questions are people who lack self-awareness i mean if you want to earn as much as a man you should work you, you have to work as much as a man does you can't say oh because you're a woman you want to build on pretty girl girl woman privilege or whatever they call it you have to be hard work you have to bring something do you understand you have to be at because we we know that a lot of times if we go if, if, a lot of times when we go to the public sector or say a place of work we know that men actually stop even sometimes in school you know it is sometimes you see girls that are ahead of guys a lot of times guys are, the guys are usually ahead of the girls and i don't know why but if you want to have that position you want to have that thing you have to actually work as hard it's actually based on skill what you can offer don't think that oh because he's a guy he's earning i know that there's there are things like that well this is 2024 if you actually want to have as much as a man or even more than a man you have to actually work for that you actually want to also have to and again that um thing she also has the question that um do i get to do what i want with my body now that question is actually is actually a pregnant question right so please you guys should please answer that question yeah then i think the next conversation i wanted to i wanted to build on was the fact that um um the work people and the ideologies oh my gosh every time we hear what people talk it's just like I don't know if this word is going to be flagged. <laughs> like foolish people talking. Like, oh my gosh, how can you guys really think that the left, the leftists can actually lead, or the leftists actually left to? They actually so we are. They're supposed to be left with their ideologies. Like, how can you guys build on what they say? It is. It is actually totally wrong. Just like saying, oh, guys, men should be should be um should be should be uh, should be in women's sports it doesn't even work that way he gave an example of the swimming you know how can a, a a trans woman be in the same games with a woman like it is not even a fair game anymore so all this um all this um uh, work ideologies they are insane ideologies i don't know how people can run with that so yeah you guys should um I don't know how people hate this guy to be honest I, I don't know how people hate him but of course nobody's perfect we all have our own imperfect side of course because he's the president and because he's contested for president his own failures and that is and that side of him is going to be more glaring than the good side of him I feel like people should you know build more on I mean this will go to because I know that a lot of people that do not support him some people feel he's wicked he's he doesn't like black people and all of those things but I know you know but let's try and but now at this point there's nothing we can do about it you can't unseat him because he actually clearly won the elections okay so anyway just let's know what you guys think about you know this um him destroying woke people for eight minutes let's build on some of these conversations what what were the highlights for you do you guys think that donald trump is such a bad guy like that he's, he's such a i don't I, I i can't understand how people hate him anyway but anyway kindly drop your comment on this um work agenda wokeism and all of this bohaha okay um drop your comments and observations on what you think about um, Donald Trump actually destroying woke people for eight minutes. There are different conversations and different questions were asked. You know, different things, different issues were raised in this video from about woke people. Yeah, if for anything, this is one of the reasons why I would I would you know support um um tr Trump's campaign. Okay, but I would love your opinions, especially if you're a woke person. Now see it from this point of view with an open mind because i am not here to support or say oh don't support this person i'm here for okay this is the this is this per this is this person D do you what do you think about you know coming from this person okay so drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below do well to like share subscribe turn on post notification bell and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye